Hey guys, what's up? My name's Justine, if you guys are new here. And this evening, we are just going to be, uh, it's not gonna be very much talking. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my mouth shut and I'm gonna get some things done. But let me show you what we are going to do and our plans for this evening. Just show you some of the little lettuce that's came up. It was up for like a day before I noticed it, so they're a little bit leggy, but that's okay. They should pull out of it. Okay, so one thing I want to get done is I want to get these daffodil bulbs in the ground. So I think I'm going to figure out, hi, what you doing? Then we're gonna come out here to this bed. This bed is right here. It's right next to the walkway of the greenhouse. And I want to get this weeded. You can see we've got some iris. Really starting to come up in here, but you can also see all the leaves and the weeds. And I want to get this spot cleaned up. We've also got some big rocks in here that I want to get picked up as well. The last thing I want to get done, if possible, is to take the leaf rake and rake out my garden beds. You can see they've just got a lot of leaves, dead plants, tags, plant tags. Here's some spinach that I planted last fall that has lived through the winter. And usually I'm okay with just leaving debris and such in my beds. It breaks down and adds organic matter. But these just don't look the best and I really want to get them cleaned up nice and pretty so that we can plant our lettuce. Okay, I'm going to set you guys down, set you up, enjoy the work, don't make fun of my shoes and my socks, <laughs> and let's get this stuff done. Yo, yo, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, moves won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yes, yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. You never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow and I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. are going to be disgusting <laughs> that's okay that happens quite often this time of year I think that looks a lot better we didn't get completely done but it was progress that probably took 30 45 minutes but it was a pretty rough bed you can really see the irises that are popping up and honestly we'll probably have to do the daffodils and rake out the raised garden beds another day which that's okay what is up you guys it's clearly the next day we're gonna go ahead and continue on with what we started last night and I'm gonna get these bulbs done but the first thing if you guys can see behind me my husband put up a fan for me in the greenhouse I've needed this desperately and I think um, 
Well, that door about hit me. I think that's what's going on. I think that's what's going on with some of my brassicas. Um, there's just no circulation in here. So I'm really glad we got this set up, but there is a lot of dirt on it. So I'm gonna wa wash it out with a water hose real quick. You see how this fan, hopefully the camera's focusing. You see how this fan's so dirty. I'm gonna come in the greenhouse and spray the water out. And it's nice because I can move this over this way when I'm not using it and hook it on that nail up there and then it's out of my way in the doorway. It's given a lot more airflow. Oh yeah. That's 10 times better. Oh my gosh. So here's our brassicas and some are doing really, really good. But then you can see like these are just, and I honestly think, I honestly think it's because there's not enough circulation in here. You can see there's kind of some mold algae growing on the top of these and that's not good. That's not what you want. So I honestly think that's probably what's going on here. But you can see the fan is blowing on these and that is a good sign super happy so i have decided that we are going to plant some of these tulip bulbs in or not tulip bulbs i'm sorry daffodil bulbs in the pots right in front of the garden i'm going to plant one a couple in this pot and a couple in this pot do i want eggs no yeah can i get oatmeal and toast please Okay, thank you. Yeah, oatmeal on toast. I think I'm going to plant some of these bulbs right here. I would really like to do it around this tree, but I planted hostas around this tree. They're obviously died back, and I have no idea where I planted them. So I don't want to come in with the auger and auger round and damage the roots if they are going to come up this year. Um, so I think I may, I think daffodils would be really pretty alongside of the rocks. Thank you. I don't know. We will just see and then we will look back at what we've done after we plant. At 29 and I find myself wondering what did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward never turn back again. Okay, you guys, so I've got all the daffodils planted, and I hope that you can see some of the um, sedum that's coming up. 
that's super super exciting i was super nervous i was gonna kind of splurge on those plants and then they weren't gonna come back but they have so i figured i would just go inside i know we had the plans to clean out the garden beds but i'm just going to wait i'm gonna have patience and i'm gonna wait until we actually get the compost to put in the beds it's not hurting anything right now and it's not a must i feel like getting these bulbs planted is more of a priority than cleaning the beds out and it's beautiful out i have my auger and we might as well just go ahead and plant some bulbs so i know for sure we're going to plant these i'm just not 100 percent sure where we're going to plant these so i've got six bulbs they are called anemones and they're they're grown in holland plant now for summer blooms it says plant them in the full sun to partial shade three inches deep um hmm. their bloom time is mid spring they get four to six inches and the hardiness zone is four through ten we are zone 6a so these should come back every year i would really love to find somewhere to plant these gladiolus and i think i might know the perfect spot actually i have a red gosh i don't remember the name of it a red punch hibiscus a red summerific hibiscus that i bought last year and i'm going to say it's going to come back it's super dark foliage and i think these blooms the the hibiscus flowers huge red flowers and they're gorgeous and how gorgeous would these be behind that hibiscus that would be gorgeous and i think maybe even it could help stake stake the gladiolus up but the, that would be gorgeous so I think we might actually do that behind those and I've got one two three four packages of these and there are three in each package so 12 12 gladiolus so I actually also have some pink lilies and I really feel like these would be really pretty right in front of where we just put the daffodils because truly, I don't want to spend my money on annuals every year for this area. So I think I want to try to plant bulbs that are going to come back. Um, and I do believe that these will come back. It doesn't say the hardiness zone though. So we'll have to look that up. And I don't have my phone out here. Um, but to my knowledge, lilies come back pretty much every year here in Missouri Zone 6A. So I'm just going to say they are. There are 10 bulbs in here. So I think these will be really, really pretty in that small bed. And then I've got these five gladiolus that I need to put in the ground somewhere. I may stick them back here in this bed that we weeded last night. They would be pretty kind of back by the fence um, in the back. So we may plant those there. And then we've got these alliums. There are 15, let's see, there are 15 allium bulbs in this. And I'm really nervous that they, it says blooms late spring. Um, we're gonna go ahead and plant them and see if we can get something out of them. I'm hoping we can. If not, it's not a huge deal. Um, hopefully, either we'll dig the bulbs up or hopefully they I don't know if they come back every year or not either. And I don't think this one says either, so we'll have to look that one up too. Okay guys, let's get to planting. Okay, so here where this stump is, is where our hibiscus is. So I figured we could do 12 of them. So we could do six over here and six over here. 
I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours it takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour, take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and f*** all the doubters, they're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down, I only spot just to wear the crown Okay, you guys, well, we got most of the bulbs planted. We didn't get the anemones planted and the alliums, but that's okay. We'll just do that in another day. Um, I feel like we got quite a lot done. Let me show you what we got planted. So the pink lilies went here. I think that'll be really, really pretty, kind of filling in this corner of the um greenhouse porch and then you can kind of walk up the sides and there'll be greenery right here and just filling that in i remember last year i didn't like that there wasn't any kind of height right here and then you know the lilies and then we can plant something in this pot that's really um tall or i mean we can even do like medium or low or anything because we'll have that grass uh right there and it'll probably be as tall as that uh, pot right there so and then we've got the sedums coming up and then we've got the daffodils that we planted right here in the front. And then over here in the side garden, we've got, we planted the, oh my gosh, what did we plant there? Completely drawing a blank. Oh yes, the Princess Margaret Rose uh, gladiolus. The Princess gladiolus right back in here behind where these irises are going to bloom and then uh, we've got some lilies back there that are starting to come up. And then the last thing we planted was right here where this really pretty hibiscus is going to come up. Right here, sorry, I'm trying to point on the screen. Right here, um, we've got the really pink, pretty bubblegum pink hibiscus that are going to come up on either side of it. So I'm happy with what we got done today. I appreciate you guys watching. And from one gardener to another, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.